I ended up in Norway with zero planning and definitely wasn't ready for the cold. A super sweet girl I met from the internet let me borrow her clothes for the week, which saved my life. Then I saw the map. Norway's coastline is massive, so why not surf the Arctic, right? At the end of the day, it is a surf channel. Found myself at the northernmost surf shop, end up surfing there. And that's how I ended up surfing one of the most remote, bucket list surf spots on Earth. Hi mom, I woke up in Norway and you wouldn't believe where I was sleeping last night. I'm staying in a town that's like a real life fairy tale. I wish you can see what I am seeing right now or hear what I am hearing. I know you will say I'm wasting so much money to travel and it will lead me to nowhere. But mom, trust me, there's nowhere it's as safe here as home. And instead of construction, crowds and traffic. I just saw a fish jump out of the water. I can hear animals, waves and wind. And is this what you grew up with? So here's a letter from your daughter. The one you might have forgotten because she's so wild that she never come home. But do you know that I miss you deeply and wish I could show you the world that you have given me the chance to explore. Currently, I am at the most thought after surf spot in the world. Where I'm staying is actually called Unsta. According to my sources, there's only 12 people who permanently live in this town. And they're actually from two households. So about six people each household. Let's check the waves. Wow, it looks so clean right now. I was able to find someone who's willing to help film later today, so the waves might be a little bit weird during that time because that time the tide's going super high. It's about eight feet when I got someone to help me film. So just to know that it does not justify the wave here. Unsta is such a beautiful place to surf at. This is actually the most consistent surf spot in Norway. So whatever I'm gonna show you does not justify the waves here, okay? Just remember that. I am taking you on a little adventure today. Let's try to explore. See how crazy the landscape is. How can nature be this beautiful? Oh my, did you see that? That is freaking insane. Wait, there's no car behind me, I'm gonna show you. Just imagine this is your view when you go home every day. Not sure if I pronounce it right. But Norway is famous for its fjord, which means it's like water in between mountains. And it's just insane.
I've been driving for like 30 minutes and I really needed to pee. So I found this beach. That was awkward. When I was about to change, literally there's a little traffic jam right in front of me. And like there's like five cars just like look at me because they got stuck and I got a little bit embarrassed. So I have to hide my car and wait. Okay, now nobody's here. Let's try to change again. <laughs> The air is cold too because it's quite windy. So yeah, but I really needed to pee. So whew, I just suck it up and also it's beautiful. You can see the sky is blue, the water is blue, the water is clear, everything is perfect. <laughs> Except the temperature is a little bit cold, but whatever. I can survive. Okay, I ordered Americano with a croissant and so taste test. Wow, this is really soft. Mm. Yum, but it's so cold. I think it's beautiful, but it's so cold. I'm not sure I want to explore. This is the perfect place for couples. I really want to make it fast so I can keep searching around like the spot to take a picture. <laughs> but I get nervous because I'm a tripod, you know? So basically every time I see a very pretty place, I'm scared. I don't know. Just, if I see someone, if I see lots of car driving by, I got very nervous. <sighs> I wish I'm more brave. Again to the fog. Whoa, this is beautiful. Wow. Okay, I was just driving and literally casually this most insanely beautiful place just popped up. Like this, this view worth so much. Like how can your casual freeway look so beautiful? Like remember, this is for free. They don't charge any tickets. Okay, I just found a perfect spot, but now we have to do real quick because the car's about to come. I got this really shitty tripod for like almost $60 in Lofoten because I didn't bring a tripod. I thought I would meet some amazing people that I can work with together as a creative, but I'm still alone. If you like this video, please don't forget to like it. <sighs> it would mean so much. <laughs> it just started to rain. Just literally found a place that looks insanely beautiful. So I'm gonna stop here real quick. It is so beautiful here. Found this dot and it's so pretty. Mountain so majestic. <sighs> I feel a majority of the day here is super cloudy, but today it's like extra sunny. So I am so excited. We just got here, so let's change. I'm gonna wear boots and gloves, but I feel like if it's sunny, then maybe we take them off. <laughs> Close your eyes, hear the voice we 
<laughs> it was super fun, but it was really hard to catch the waves or even see the waves. <laughs> but today's my last day and I have a great time. Ding! Whoa, it is so windy. If you get a chance to surf here, definitely try. It's an insane experience that you will never forget. Like, I've never been to a place this beautiful and I wish I can stay here. Do you know that some people smuggle this water and sell in America? It's so funny that no matter how much I drink, I still feel extremely thirsty all the time. For the past couple hours, I was like dying kind of out in the water. I feel like I didn't drink enough. I think maybe it's a heater or maybe it's just because here is so dry. I'm constantly feel like I'm dehydrated. Can you believe that right now it's almost 7 p.m. already, but the sun is still all the way up, <laughs> kind of. It's like in the sky. <laughs> I love Norway. I love summer. <laughs> I wish the day never end. If I can, I would like to be awake 24 7. Because <laughs> there's so much things I want to do. I always feel like I don't have enough time to do what I wanted to do. It's really hard to buy stuff. <laughs> it's like, I'm not sure what kind of nut is this. I'm just say not. It is so funny, the guy who's scanning tell me that Why are you so stressed? Don't be stressed, you're too serious right now Damn it, do I really look that stressed? If you live in Umstel like me, the closest grocery store is called Spa, but it's closed on Saturday. The closest next town is Latinus, and it's about 25 minutes drive. And do you know that on Sunday, they don't work. So now Saturday, I just got all the food I needed for the weekend, and let's go home <laughs> and eat. And the reason we came here to and found this place yeah. was because of windsurfing. But I, w I really, really, since I was a kid, wanted to surf. But where I come from, there's no waves. Where you come from? Uh, it's the mainland and inside a fjord. Yeah. So the only wave we had was uh, from the ferry. <laughs> no, that's so cool. Do they still have that waves? Yeah, yeah. And uh, we were here for a, for a windsurf competition yeah. and there was no wind. So we were just driving around all these small roads and uh, back then there was no tunnel so you come across the mountain top and it's a, you should go up there it's a very nice view and we saw this beautiful bay and there's good waves and uh, we started surfing on tiny windsurf boards Honestly, I still cannot believe I actually get to surf the Arctic, so... 
Let's try to make some salmon.